am out on my patio and just taking a quick uh, look and um, it rained really really bad yesterday we had a severe thunderstorm out here um, and I came out to just uh, check on my plants and um, I can tell that they did take on a lot of, um, of the impact of the rain because a lot of the soil is coming out of these baskets my strawberry plants are um, they're okay but I have to come out here and actually fix some of this stuff because a lot of this um, soil is just coming out of the baskets there have been a lot of soil splashes that are on the plants so a lot of the soil has just been splashing all over um, I do see a bunch of strawberries popping up which is nice and another thing if you uh, check my first um, patio tour you realize that I had these uh, strawberries on the top and I did put them to the side and I have to fill this up with more soil to cover the roots right here um, I did that so I can have these strawberries hanging um, versus just sitting up on the soil because I realized a lot of them were rotting when they um, fruited and they became big and we were not able to um, enjoy them because they were just rotting and the soil was just uh, eating away at the strawberries so like here you can see like the soil is just peeking through right under here and it's touching the strawberries so I have to come out here and fix all of this um, one thing I realized are my magnolias have taken a good hit as well um, so a lot of them are just not in a good state right now they're all kind of trampled and been abused with the rain last night but they did get a lot of um, water my lemon balm they're doing okay I've been cutting off um, a bunch and just been harvesting and eating these and they're just you know thriving one thing I'm gonna come over here you can see like the Brussels sprouts there's still a bunch of rain on here a lot of you see how like strong that um, the storm was last night is by all the dirt that's all over these plants <laughs> and that was some serious storm because if you can see all that dirt is coming up to like these top leaves so it was it's a pretty big um, pretty heavy storm that was out here last night my wisteria is doing awesome it's way up there it's climbed um, another thing I did recently because I needed to trellis this um, was I got some PVC pipes from Home Depot and the ones that are going from the barrel like the container uh, these ones that the plant is climbing on are eight foot and I have uh, I don't know if you can see it to the light but it's right there it's like a ten foot and I've just got it tied up with some twine <laughs> I don't even know how long how well this will last me but to figure out another way I don't have a ladder that's tall enough for this I had to kind of makeshift my ladder and try to reach up there but that's I just have it connected like that and all the way over here to this uh, tomato so I have uh, one end over here inside the tomato cage to give it a little bit of a, a support and I've got these tied up with some twine and the other one goes across here and that's where the uh, wisteria will be climbing up so that's how I have that uh, trellis system going with the wisteria because I didn't um, I figured since it's a vining and I wanted hopefully I mean that's my goal is hopefully this will start climbing up here and start hanging from up here which will kind of fill out and look nice um, it is actually see like these vines um, they are already like twining and reaching for the light these are huge vines I have to come out and tie these up I don't want to break them so I'll just leave them for right now but I'll come out here and tie them up to this pole so they'll grow up instead of uh, trying to get into my peppermints and anywhere else you know I don't want it to um, start going on the actual building of the apartment so just try to keep as much of it contained as possible my basils are doing okay they got some water over here with my beans um, what I'm gonna say is like this particular bean 
has been growing. It's like way up here, like the little vine is climbing. This one is catching up. It's just right about here. So it still needs to go up a little bit more to reach that one. But I think a lot of it has to do with they're reaching for the sun. So everything that I have on this side is growing amazingly. Like it's just taking off. Same thing with my snap piece, like these right here, these are taking off and those aren't. So those are just kind of like meh. So I think a lot of it has to do with these trying to reach for the sun. See this one's way up here. Another thing are these, um, I think again, like I said, I think these are zucchinis or squash, some type of squash. These are also beautiful. Look at these flowers. They're so amazing. They're slowly, slowly opening up. And with the storm last night, you can see all this dirt splash from my containers. Mind you, I don't even have like a real garden where dirt can splash up, but all of my plants, you can see that they have dirt everywhere. So that means that was a huge crazy storm last night and we had dirt splash everywhere. So um, here's my cucumber. This one's going slowly but surely. Those again, I said, because of the light and the sun, these are not getting that much of it. So they're still small, but I do have to come out and water these. Okay, so I am out here just watering the sad looking uh, cucumbers back here. I just uh, haven't been out here watering and these uh, cucumbers are looking a little bit dry down here. Some of the leaves are yellow and they're just too little for me to have them die out already. So I need to get these to survive um, and be more vigilant on watering. Um, I just haven't. Um, I've been meaning to and I've just been sidetracked doing other mom things so this is another thing I need to take care of is my babies <laughs> out here. I worry about the three kids and then I also have these guys out here. You know when they were indoors growing under the grow light I was fine. I was missing them and then when I put them out here I kind of forgot about them because <laughs> um, I've just been focused on other stuff. And that's what I'm doing. I'm just uh, deeply watering these and that's I'm just going to go around and water these back rows right here because um, these planters, there's four big uh, 25 gallon or 20 gallon planters back here and I'm um, going to go ahead and water these thoroughly because they don't get much water. I'm not going to do these in the front and on the top and on the railings because we had a tremendous storm last night. So they are pretty drenched. Um, you can still see like a lot of the leaves are still wet. They're still wet. The baskets, like the tomato cages, they're um, the like the dirt is still like coming out of the baskets, and some of these plants are still wet. You can see the water. So I'm not gonna go ahead and water those. But I'm just gonna focus on these back here. So I'm watering my red beefsteak tomato that I have in for the Tomato Grow Off 2019. I'm just uh, watering down here at the bottom. And I'm going to put a, a stake around this. Um, I'm sorry, a stake, like tie it up with a stake. And then I'm going to put a, a, tr um, a tomato cage around it. Um, because I feel like this particular um, variety that I have, it grows very quickly. Within like three weeks, it's pretty tall. Um, the reason I say that is because I'm just gonna zoom on over, like move my camera over on this side while this is going. I'm gonna show you something. I have another beef steak, which is growing here. And I put this in this particular bed, um, I would say also about three weeks ago. And it's like way up here, it's several, I would say probably like two feet at least and it's still growing so like overnight it's pretty you know it'll, it'll get pretty big this is the one so and I'm gonna go ahead and start trimming off a lot of these um, lower branches and filling this up as the other tomatoes back here um, get you know grow a little bit bigger because I do have some uh, 
I think, it's, no, actually in this one I only have the indeterminate tomatoes. So I'm going to trim off some of these leaves and it'll just be easier for me to water these so I'm not getting it on any of the leaves here. <clears throat> So yeah, basically, um, <laughs> back to what I was saying, is uh, this particular uh, red beef steak right here grows pretty quickly, so I'm going to go ahead and put a tomato cage around this one. I'm not going to mulch this um, bed, it's because this particular soil that I have, um, you can pretty much see that it has a lot of wood chips in it already. And from the day that I planted, I don't see any more of those little caterpillars in here. Um, or I haven't seen it. I was uh, worried about the caterpillars attacking this overnight. So I don't see any caterpillars on it today. So I am kind of happy about that. Give me one second. I'm going to turn off this water and come back. Okay, so I'm out here with um, my ladder. I've got my ladder out. I've got uh, some four inch zip ties. Um, what are these? Zip ties? Or cable ties? Yeah, I've got a couple of these. What I'm going to do is take my wisteria vines and I'm going to wrap them around very gently because I realized some of them do break off um, fairly easily. So I want to be very careful with those uh, vines that are trellising out right here. You see those? They's, I found them this morning that they were in my... Um, peppermint plants so I'm just gonna take these uh, stray vines and our trendrel trendles I think trendrels um, these things so I'm gonna uh, go ahead and wrap them around like how I did this and I guided this and I've got like a zip tie back here to hold that against the PVC pipe so it can grow upwards versus trying to reach around and grab onto the brick of the um, building or you know trying to get into any of the other uh, vines and stuff over here so that's what I'm gonna do here Okay, I hope you guys can see me. I have the camera at an angle while I do this because I can't balance both the camera and try to do this at the same time. There's a couple of these cables, uh, zip ties. <laughs> Sorry about that guys, so I did have to change out the uh, cable ties because I had to use the 8 inch um, cable ties versus the 4 inch because the width of uh, this PVC pipe um, was not covering the 4 inch so I've got this uh, 8 inch one um, so I wrapped these extra loose tendrils around the PVC pipe so uh, they can just train and go upwards and start climbing the PVC pipe and over that way versus just going every which way so that's what i'm trying to do and eventually like what's going to happen is since it's grow it has a lot of growth up here i'm going to and there's not much growth down here i'm gonna kind of like take off these little ones down here these extra ones that are coming out through the side right here just so they you know it's just easier to manage i don't know if this is like the actual wisteria flower what is that that's pretty cool there's one right here too if anybody knows, just let me know. That's that's pretty interesting. Mm -hmm. 